Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be doing a video and it's sort of like a would you rather video but I saw it on Buzzfeed, I saw this amazing article on Buzzfeed and I thought oh my god I've got to answer those questions and I've got to do it on camera, I've got to share this. So it's a different sort of take on the would you rather tag that went around YouTube a good while back I think it is now. But I just saw these questions on Buzzfeed and I thought I'm just gonna have to do a different version of it. It just needs to be done. So if you wanna see what I would rather on all of these painful, painful makeup questions, just keep on watching. Okay, so just a heads up, these are some painful questions. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to choose. But the first one is would you rather wear a foundation shade that's two shades too light or two shades too dark? Okay, I'd have to go with two shades too light just because you can kind of bronze your foundation up to make it look a bit better. It's a bit more workable than the two shades too dark. I mean, I've already got a situation where my neck's a different colour to my face anyway, so that's a whole other story. But yeah, definitely I would choose the two shades too light because you can bronze up to the ordinary colour. I just think that's a bit more doable. Would you rather sneeze every time you put on mascara or always have lipstick on your teeth? Um, I think I'd rather sneeze every time I put on mascara just because sometimes when I sneeze and I put on mascara it doesn't go everywhere. I kind of got it down pat because I've, I've grown up with really bad allergies. I kind of know how to sneeze so that my makeup doesn't go everywhere. I've kind of learned that skill over time so this is one time where it might come in useful. Would you rather have your favourite palette smash on the floor or have your favourite lipstick be discontinued? I'd definitely rather my favourite palette be smashed on the floor just because I can go out and buy it again. It's a real killer when your favourite um, favorite lipstick is discontinued. I've had that happen and it's heartbreaking so I would definitely rather break my favourite palette so I can just go out and buy a new one. Next, would you rather have your eyeliner wings never match or your eyebrows never match? I feel like this is an easy question for me because my eyebrows never match anyway. I mean, they're definitely sort of second cousins twice removed rather than sisters. Um, so yeah, I think I'd choose the eyebrows. Would you rather only be able to apply all of your makeup using one of these and it's got a picture of one of them little um, makeup applicator sponges, one of those, or only be able to apply it drunk? <laughs> I think I'd have to go with one of them little makeup sponge things. I feel like if you're at least sober you could kind of make them work but if you're drunk applying makeup that's just not a good situation. You'd probably end up thinking you look great when you really don't. So yeah, I'd definitely go with one of them crappy little like Claire sponges. Would you rather always have your makeup look like it does at the end of a night out or have to do your makeup in bad lighting? I think I'd rather have to do my makeup in bad lighting. I feel like because we live in England and it's dark a lot of the time during the winter anyway, I've kind of adapted to that anyway. So I think I'd rather have to do my makeup in bad lighting. It's kind of less challenging. Would you rather have over plucked 90s eyebrows or have to wear the same makeup you wore as a teen? Yeah, this is a difficult question. Can I fill them in? Can I fill in the eyebrows that are over plucked or? Do I have to kind of just rock them? Um, my makeup as a teenager wasn't great. I think I'd go with the overplucked eyebrows. That is really difficult for me to say because I had overplucked eyebrows as well as wore bad teen makeup. But yeah, I definitely do prefer my fuller brows now. They definitely fame frame my face a lot better. Would you rather always have clumpy spider lashes? Oh my god or unblended eyeshadow. I have the clumpy spider lashes every day of the week because then I can just put a strip lash over the top and disguise it. I'm learning a little bit about myself, I'm always looking for a loophole. <laughs> Would you rather always have post food lipstick or post crying eyeliner and mascara? Uh, <laughs> I tend to suffer sometimes from watery eyes so I sometimes suffer from the eye thing 
without crying anyway and it's so annoying feeling like your makeup is actually everywhere and it's not so I think I'd go with the always having post food lipstick because yeah I don't know I think that's probably easier to clean up would you rather give up eye makeup or give up lip makeup lip makeup every day of the week because I tend to wear just nude sort of lips anyway I don't tend to do anything too bold for the most part so I feel like my eyes are the way I draw attention to my face so I'd definitely give up lip makeup would you rather this is the final question would you rather be banned for life from Mac or from Sephora as a Brit that's a very easy question because we don't have Sephora so I would be banned for life from Sephora because I can't go there anyway so I hope you enjoyed the answers to these questions they were for the most part quite difficult but I think I kind of found a loophole around most of them Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe before you leave because I do put out videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.